Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to figure out an amazing puzzle from probably the 1980s if I recall correctly, where to put the white king to make this position legal. That's the goal. So we have to realize in this current position is that black is in check, right? Which means it was white's last move, put black in check. So let's work backwards. This is a retrograde puzzle. So we have to work backwards to see how this is possible. So let's just suppose the king is somewhere like, I don't know, here. Well, white's last move would put black in check. So white couldn't have moved the bishop along this diagonal because it would already be check. And white couldn't have arrived on this diagonal via this diagonal because there's a piece blocking. So you know the last move had to be a king move, which means... There are only a couple that would create discover check. And you say, well, I can't put my king here and move, right? That doesn't work. So, because this is not a legal position, which means my king must have been here. Okay, so my king must have been here for me to move, whether I go this way or this way or this way and or this way, to give a check. And you go, okay, but how does that make sense? Because I have a rook here on b5 giving me check, and I have a bishop here on d5 giving me check. So I know that I have to move out of the way to give check, but how does this position even make sense right here? And this is kind of the whole point of the puzzle. You have to kind of recognize that this position is the one that you have to kind of arrive at, and then the question is, how do I get from here to the previous move? And now you have to think about it. So I'll give you a second to think about it. If you want to think about it, just pause the video. It's a lot of fun. So I am going to share the answer, though. So you have to think, how is it that I'm being checked in two different directions? And you have to think, what is Black's last move to discover, like two discovered checks, essentially, like a check and another check? And you say, OK, I don't know if that makes sense. Is it possible? for one move to generate two different checks? And the answer is yes, right? So let's work backwards. Let's say, well, I know that if, let's say there was something here, like if that piece were to move, it'd be discovered check, right? if there's a bishop here or something. So that covers this idea, like maybe something was here and it moved, and that gives this check, but how would this one work? How would I, how would this bishop give check to the king? Well kind of along the same idea, is there something that can take the blocking square and remove it? And now we have to think about the very special rule in chess, which is called en passant, which is what French for in passing. And it's when the pawn is here and it moves up two, and if there's a pawn next to it, it can capture like that, right? Very odd rule, but that's the way it is. Okay. Well, here's kind of the insight you had to notice. You have to say, well, if there was a pawn here on b4 and it captured en passant on c3, that would make sense. That would give me this check and the pawn would be here and that would get rid of this check. So that makes sense. That's what it is. So we work backwards and we say, okay, there is a pawn here then. So what's white's last move must have been some en passant capture. Well, okay, that makes sense. That means that white's move before that was to block this check that black is currently giving the white king. So here's, here's the answer, pretty much. Pawn c4 blocks this check, and if you work backwards behind this, you know, who knows? I think pretty much you can make the point that before, oops, before the move of the pawn, the bishop arrived on the diagonal, you give check, you block the check, and now the pawn captures en passant, meaning that's a, that's gone, and I have double check, and for this pawn to get rid of, uh, for this pawn to be gone in the final position, I have to take on c3. Therefore, the answer to the puzzle is for this position to be legal, the king has to be on c3. Amazing puzzle. It's just a really amazing puzzle. So I want to just talk about it, again, do a brief summary of it, just the logic one more time. There's a check here, which means you had to be on this square to discover to do a discover check. 
You could go here, or you can go here. You don't really know yet. Well, for only one second, you're in double check, which means the only way that could be generated is there's a pawn here, and you're blocking a check with c4. And that creates the condition for en passant, and that gets rid of this, you capture this, and now you're out of double check. Super amazing puzzle. Where's the white king hiding? It's hiding on c3. That's really great. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to like on YouTube and consider subscribing. Thanks so much. Bye.